Today we're talking about how the olfactory nerve is evaluated. So as you might know, the olfactory nerve is to do with the sensation of smell. So obviously the examination of the olfactory nerve would involve smelling various odors to see if it's fully functional. So examples of these um, odors that we might use, cinnamon, coffee, chocolate or citrus fruits. And something that you need to understand is the nose is innervated by not only the olfactory nerve but also the trigeminal nerve as well. So we need to make sure we're not using any substances which contain ammonia when we are checking for the functionality of the olfactory nerve because ammonia actually irritates the trigeminal nerve so it might give an error in the results. There's something called the smell identification test by the University of Pennsylvania. So this test is basically just a booklet with about 40 questions. On each page, there's an area where you scratch away and you have to smell an odor is released. And you have to say what kind of uh, smell you think it is. I think it's a multiple choice question. So there's that, which can basically be done in a few minutes by the patient. So other tests which you can use, you can have a MRI scan with gadolinium contrast. The gadolinium helps to enhance the quality of the image. If the patient is suspected of having some kind of bony lesion in this area or an MRI isn't available, you can also use a CT scan with a contrast media added as well.